Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add meta fields to your Shopify store that are compatible with Shopify 2.0. So let's get started. You can see this is meta fields that you can find under settings. So first I'm going to show you how you can create your custom meta fields. Then I'm going to show you how you can oops, display meta fields on your store so let's get started now go ahead and log into your shopify admin area and once you are in simply go ahead and click the settings on the left bottom and then you will see a new field which is meta fields it lets you extend extend your store template pages it could it could be product page blog page or simple pages so now when you click on this you get few options here so these are coming soon features these are available this is only available for products this is going to be available under products on products templates so we will have a look at the products first so click on products and you can see i already have created two custom fields to create a custom field you simply have to click on this add definition and you have to name whatever you want these are few inbuilt things so these will be available from these will be available from the drop down if you create something which is not listed in in this list here then you will have to use liquid to access this meta field in order to display it on your store so let's say i'm going to okay so this is what i have created and now it's available so it's been created care guide which was not part of this and now it's available so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a similar thing so let's say uh, let's say you want to say manufacturing so manufacturing manufacturing oops oops for this correct now simply have to select it and this is going to be your new meta field and you can add this meta field manually as well so this is going to be product the custom meta field definition product new capture on select content type so this is going to be basically uh, text let's see if you have date no we don't have date here so we we have this text field you can go ahead and select it single line multi line so it's going to be single line i do not want to give any additional validation so simply go ahead and save it and now we have this manufactured make custom meta field that we can go ahead and display on our store so let me show you how you can so probably i'm going to require this meta field name so i'm just going to copy this to copy it i'm going to press ctrl and c on my keyboard this is microsoft windows if you're using mac just copy this select and copy it and once it's done so you already have created this custom field and let's see what are the options for us under product templates to display this so as you can see i already have added two meta fields this is subtitle which is being displayed and there 
subtitle is this one this is care guide so product care guide which is at the very bottom of the product here product care instructions now let me go ahead and show you how i did it so simply go ahead and exit this is the custom liquid if you want if it doesn't appear so we will have a look at that so i'm going to exit this one so simply go ahead and click on this online store once you are in the admin area and click on customize to display your custom fields now select the template here so i'm going to use the default product template also this theme is uh, compatible with shopify 2.0 so it's uh, it's another requirement that your store must meet so you need to have a theme that is completely compatible with the shopify store 2.0 here you can see these are a few options we have we have announcement bar which is at the very top on this uh, template and then we have header which is here product information product recommendation and then footer so we have product information till here and then we have product recommendation and then at the bottom footer so we are going to add those what was that manufactured information product manufacturing information to product information so you simply go ahead and select that and add a block click on it and see these are a few options so let's see if it is going to be available under text otherwise you will have to use custom liquid however i will show you how you can use both of these so I'll first select the text and text is going to be displayed just above the share button. So this is another feature that you have with Shopify 2.0 and it should be displayed somewhere just above. This is the text field. Now you can write something here but you see here insert dynamic source so you'll be able to select the meta field so you can see my one line manufacturer information is already available however i have not added it to my product so it's going to be unique to each product okay I'm, i have already selected it here and i'm going to insert it and we do not have any information so what i'm going to do i'm going to save this one and uh, go to my products uh, under my admin shop admin and then i will go ahead and add manufactured information here and you need to add it to every product okay so something like this so let's say this is going to be jan Jean. Okay, and this is going to be saved and now if I go ahead and refresh this particular antique drawer which we just updated it should be displaying that manufacturing information manufactured product manufactured date somewhere at the bottom here you see you can customize it and this is going to be easy stuff now the other way is if it's not going to be available here what you do uh, you simply go ahead and add a block and uh, then you go with the custom liquid and again you can drag it to the position you want to display and here you simply type in your meta field name which i already have and let's try one more time and this should display now so i'm going to save it and you can see this is displaying the date so this is how you can use the custom liquid 
block type to display your meta fields and this is how you can select your or insert your dynamic meta field through dynamic source feature that you get with Shopify 2.0 now let's go ahead and refresh this particular product page and you can see you are able to display the, your custom meta fields using the dynamic source and custom liquid source as well so that's it for this video thank you for watching bye for now